So what we have talked about so far with proportions, Shane, do you need a sheet of paper? OK. So what we've talked about with special um, or with similar triangles is that their sides are proportionate, right, Casey? So when we talk about similar triangles, we talked about you know, that they have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So if I just kind of gave you two generic ones, and let's see, D, E, and F. And we say those are similar, right? So I can say triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle D, E, F. So far in this course, you guys should know that if these triangles are similar, that means they have the exact same shape, but not necessarily the same size, then we can write proportions of their sides. Saying A, B is proportional to D, E, right? And that is equal to the proportion of, or ratio of BC over to EF, which is also equal to the proportion of CA, which is to FD. That's a little bit of review, right? And you guys need to know that for, you can flip that over if you want to, so you can write those on. Um, so that's review. That's stuff you guys should remember from similar triangles, OK? Now what we're going to talk about is special segments, all right? And I'm going to kind of do this in um, three parts all together. So the first part is talking about the altitude. Now, you guys have been introduced to the altitude um, when, you guys were learn when you guys learned how to find like the area of a triangle, right? Area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. But what if that triangle didn't have a height, right? What if it wasn't like a right triangle? So to find the height, we'd be introduced you to like the altitude which is still the height of the triangle, but not actually a side of the triangle, right? Do you guys agree that that red line shows you the height of the triangle, but it doesn't actually, it's not actually a side of the triangle, correct? All right, so when we have the altitude, the lengths, so what I'll say is, of corresponding altitudes, are proportionate <coughs> to the lengths of corresponding sides. Now again, this is all over only similar triangles, OK? That the lengths of the height, or the altitude, is proportional to the lengths of the corresponding sides. So therefore, what I can say is, let's call this P, point P, and that point Q. So what I can say is, BP is proportional to EQ, which that proportion, that altitude, that altitude is proportional to that altitude in the same manner that the sides are proportional to the sides. So therefore, I just need to pick one of these ratio of the sides, which I can pick any one I want to. Let's just pick the A one, first one. A, B over D, E. So the proportional in that manner. Anybody have any questions on that? No? Feel good? OK. So now, let's go and take a look at another one. Um, so that was the red. The next one I'll do in black. And I'll do in blue. So now the next one is, what about if I have a bisector? That means it's an angle bisector, right? Angle bisector, it cuts the angle in half. How's the line like that? This line cuts this angle in half, right? If you have an angle bisector, sorry, let me write it like that, maybe it'll make more sense. An angle bisector, that means a line that cuts the angle in half. Guess what? That proportion. Yeah, it's a point P. That proportion is equal to the proportion of the lengths. So rather than saving you guys all this time on writing everything down, I'm just going to say dot dot. And then here, I'm just going to now say angle bisector. And then close parentheses. Okay, It's the exact same wording. But now let's go and take a look at it. Well, actually, I'll put it at the end. So it doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen, if it's an angle bisector or if it's the altitude. Tyler, put it face down on the desk. Face down on the desk. 
Yeah, I don't know why your hand is not on your pencil when you're writing this down. Because what you need to know is the, high, the height, yeah, there is, the height and the angle bisector are proportional to their lengths. And yes, there is one more, which I'll use in verde. The next last one is what about if I gave you a line that was a median? And what a median is, the exact same thing, that means it cuts the line in half rather than cutting the angle. So then it begs the question, you know, if um, this will be the exact same wording, that they're all proportional to each other, but for a median. You guys want me to do them separately? No, I was going to say, why? I don't understand. Here, watch. You don't have to know. Did, all right. I showed everything together separately for each thing. It doesn't really matter what you think. So, exactly. Let me show it to you this way. Here is the altitude. Do you guys understand that one? Yes. Okay. What that means? That's the height from the base to the top. That's the height. What it's saying is the ratio of this to this is equal to the ratio of this length to that length. Or the ratio of this is to this is equal to the ratio of that length to that length. OK? So now, what do you mean? The triangles are similar. So, they're, so the census triangles are similar. Their altitudes are going to be similar. So now, let's just totally forget I use different colors. Rather than talking about the altitudes, let's talk about an angle bisector. And all I did was I wrote it down below. Instead of having you guys write this verbiage all over again, I, that's why I use the quotations, which means just to rewrite that again. So now, let's go and use um, an angle bisector. An angle bisector is not the same as an altitude. Angle bisector takes this angle and cuts it in half. Do you guys agree with me? Mm -hmm. An angle bisector cuts it in half. But guess what? It doesn't matter if it's an angle bisector or if it is the al altitude. The ratio of, let's call this point P, of this length compared to this length is the same as the ratio of this length to that length. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it's an altitude or if it's an angle bisector. Then I did the third one, which, again, you write down the exact same information. But the other thing is, now what if it is a median? Well, what is a median compared to an altitude compared to an angle bisector? A median is when we take, when we cut this line in half. Okay? It doesn't have to cut, it doesn't cut the angle in half, it only cuts the line in half. That is the median. And again, the same thing. The ratio of this length to this length is the same as this length is to this length. This length to this length is the same as this length to that length. They're all proportional to each other. Okay? Then why would we learn all of them if they're all doing the same thing? Well, that's exactly what you need to understand. All three of these types of lines which are not sides of the triangle, are all proportional to the sides of the triangle. So you need to know there's three different types of them. OK? Wait, so there's three different types of lines. Three different types of lines that really have the same properties for, tri for similar triangles, yes. OK, so we need to know those three different types of lines and to also know that they are proportional to the sides of similar triangles. OK?